Hi YouTube, today we'll be showing you a video on how to transfer your XAVC 4K and HD video files from your Sony RX100 to your iPhone and iPads. For Sony RX100 series, the RX5 and above, um, you can find that it comes with the XAVCS 4K as well as XAVCS HD, AVC HD and MP4. If you were to do file transfers from the Sony RX100 wirelessly via play memories, you probably opt for the MP4 which gives you lower quality. If you want to transfer via XAVCS and XAVCS directly to your iPhone or iPads, you will have to use another method. The lightning to USB cable adapter from Apple will be your solution to this fast transfer. You need two cables for this method, the lightning to USB cable adapter as well as the micro USB adapter from Sony. Connect the two adapters via the USB port. Before connecting the cable to the Sony RX100 series, there's a few things you need to do. First, turn on the camera, go to the menu, go to the last settings, find USB connection, change it from auto to MTP, and USB power supply to off. To see if the cables work, we'll first show you the files transfer via smartphone using the plain memories. I've recorded three videos for this test. First we use the MP4 video. Secondly, we use the XAVC 4K and last, we use the HFR slow motion video for this test. As you can see, for files transfer via play memories, you can only see the MP4 on the screen. For the next method, I'll be using the cable connection. As you can see, this is what we will see on the Sony RX100 once you connect it via cable. Just go to the go button and see what happens. So you'll be the USB mode MTP as seen on the screen. And if you open your iPhones, I can see all three videos that I've taken using the Sony RX100. So I try to import them. Import selected. Importing via the cable does take quite a while. We will fast forward this part. After importing, go to your photos section and see if the videos are there. These are the three videos that I took with the Sony RX100. The first is the MP4. Works just fine. This is taken with the XAVC 4K settings was great too and lastly the slow motion settings perfect I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful do give us a like and subscribe 
See you next time.